All right, what do we got here in number four? Well, let's see. It says, how many grams of FeOH3? So I want grams. Will be precipitated by a reaction of 250 milliliters of 0.5 molar KOH. And oh, hey, no, you know, notice that they say excess Fe uh, NO33 there. And because it's excess, they're telling you not to worry about it in mathematical terms. They're saying, hey, you got more than enough of that that you need. Just don't worry about that one as far as this is concerned. So they're kind of throwing it in there. Don't be distracted by it because there's no real numbers uh, associated with that at all. So again, here's our real world unit. And now here's our chemistry unit with the moles. So we should know that molarity is equal to the moles per the liter. So again, we should be at 0 0.1, 0 0.25 liters from 250 milliliters out of that. You do the math on that and you end up with 0.125 moles here. Again, we have ignored the three and the one there until now. Now I wanna go from the three over to the one because that's the only way you can get across town in Moleville is by using the moles. So it looks like I'm going to be cutting this by a third. And when that is the case, you end up with about 0 0.0417 when you're all done with things for that. And now we want to get out to grams. So we got to look up the molar mass of FeOH3. And that's about 10685 plus tax. <clears throat> if you have done everything correctly. And you get about 4.46 grams of the FeOH3 when you're all said and done.